The earliest about the time I can remember a very nice picture I have in my mind is when I, our house, you see, had a long passage in coming in, a long passageway into the house. And we had a big garden. Half of it was white sand, you know, like the beach. And for the rest, we had plants and trees and fruit trees and even a well. So we had these trees that we could climb on, you know, it was great fun. And we could play badminton there. So it was very, very peaceful and very enjoyable. I remember as a little girl sitting at the end of the, at the entrance, I should say, of our house on the little ledge there. And in front of our house, in a kind of atap house, there was a young man, he must have been about 18, 19 only, I think. He used to play the violin. And I used to sit there, you know, transfixed, really. Beautiful, listening to him. And I remember the tune, the souvenir, you know, was one of the tunes he played, which is so beautiful. We had a very nice... Uh, Paranaka neighbor, and our relationship was excellent. So, if I tell you that at Christmas time they would be waiting for us, my mother would pack up all our Christmas cakes, which my mother was wonderful at cooking, jellies and everything, and on Christmas Day we take it around. And on their part, we'll be waiting for Chinese New Year. <laughs> So Chinese, and we'd be watching beforehand, you know, because there were a lot of daughters there, grown-up daughters. They would be cooking all these nyonya cakes. So we will be watching. Chinese New Year Day, they'll come across with the whole lot. And there was a very warm relationship. And behind our house, my dad had owned, you know, he owned our house that we lived in, plus two quite big houses behind us, which were rented out. So that was the uh, setup at the, the neighborhood at that time. My sister and I went to the St. Anthony's convent in Middle Road. Dad, because he was teaching at ACS, would drive us every mo morning in the Fiat. He had a Fiat Balilla car. It was the second car. You know, the first one he had was a Studebaker. Now he had a Fiat Belilla, so he would drop us at the convent, Middle Road, and he'd go on to his school and t bring us back in the afternoon because it was half-day sessions. Life went on quite peacefully. We'd play the piano, play badminton outside, but my sister has always complained. <laughs> my sister is very different from me in temperament. She's very outgoing, you know, and she's, she loves to move around and do things. She says, you know, every time I called you to play, you would be sitting there with a book. I wouldn't come, I wouldn't go. <laughs> we were very happy in those days. You know, life was so easy, so happy. You go to school, me, Sam, you buy for two cents. <laughs> you know, we used to do, buy me, Sam, is two cents in the interval, the nuns will be selling. <laughs> And life was so simple. You know, you had no extra worries. Just do what you have to do and that's it. And the rest of the time you're free. So it was very nice, I think, those days, you know.